Hello dear students, welcome to my channel Visual Physics Tutor, the best place to learn the concepts of physics in the most easiest and finest way. So today we will be dealing with a topic, electric flux. So electric flux is denoted by the letter phi. So let us try to understand what is electric flux. So it is defined as the number of field lines passing normal through a given surface. So you know that a field line generated because of an electric charge is directed always from the positive to the negative side. So now suppose if I have a surface area of a sheet this way, then if this is the electric field, this electric field will pass normal through the surface and it will emerge out from this side. Similarly, when we are considering a number of field lines entering normal into the surface and then emerging out, then this can be called as an electric flux. So we can write here electric flux, it is defined as the number of field lines passing normal through a given surface. So it is defined as the number of field lines passing normal through a given surface. That means Assume now we have a plane sheet this way and the field lines pass normal through a surface. Then this can be called as an electric flux. Before we go ahead, let us try to understand the concept of an area vector. Now if we take the same sheet over here, now this surface has got an area, this surface has got an area. Now we should understand that this total surface area is made up of small surface elements. Now let us consider these small blocks here, each are the small surface elements and each surface element can be denoted by ds. Now let us try to understand what is area vector so, and what is the direction of the area vector. So now this is the area, the direction of the area vector is always perpendicular to the surface. That means now if this is the area over here, the direction will be perpendicular to the surface and what will be the direction of the area vector. Even though it is perpendicular, the direction is taken in the direction where you actually weave. For example, if I weave it from this side, then the direction of the area vector is in this side. Now similarly, if I weave it from this side, then the direction of the area vector will be in this side. Hope you have understood this. So suppose now if this is a sheet and I am looking from here, then this can be called as the area vector. Now we can also assume that this sheet is made up of a very very small surface elements and each surface element can be considered to be equivalent to ds when all the ds adds up, we get a total area. Now, it can be also defined as, that means this electric flux can be also defined as the product of electric field intensity and area vector. So we can write here, it is also defined as
the product of electric field intensity and area vector now this is a scalar quantity and its si unit is newton meter square coulomb raised to minus 1 and SI unit is Newton meter square Coulomb raised to minus 1. Now let us go ahead. Let us consider a surface. Now assume a number of field lines penetrating normally. So we can say now this gives the electric flux and suppose if I am looking from this direction then the direction of the area vector will be also in this side so now this is the area vector in that case the electric flux can be written as phi is equal to E vector dot A vector alternatively if we remove the dot product then we can write phi is equal to E A cos theta. Now in this diagram you can see that the angle between the electric field vector and the area vector is 0 that means the theta is equal to 0. So we can write here phi is equal to E A. Now let us consider one more diagram. Now let us say that this is the electric field line and we assume a very small surface element ds. Now this is also an electric field line. Then if we are weaving from this side then the area vector will be along this direction that means now this angle here is theta so in this case for a small surface element I can take it as d phi is equal to e vector dot ds vector now to get the electric flux over the entire surface area I can summate it that means I can integrate it so I can write here phi is equal to closed surface integral of E vector dot ds vector that means here now we can define electric flux as the surface integral of the electric field intensity over a closed surface. So I can write here electric flux is also defined as the surface integral of electric field intensity over a closed surface. So here you can see that the electric flux can be defined in three different ways. So it is defined as the number of field lines passing normal through a given surface. It is also defined as the product of electric field intensity and area vector. Electric field flux, electric flux is also defined as the surface integral of the electric field intensity over a closed surface. So hope you have understood this simple concept. Thanks for watching.